This is our only tool. We have no rod, reel, lines, lures, hooks, anything like that. This is all we have. Today I'm going to be putting myself in a survival situation where I have very limited supplies and my only tool is this little knife right here. As you guys can see, I am out here in a forest and there is a creek right behind me over that way. My objective for the day is to use my knife and my very limited supplies to try and catch some fish out of this creek over here. So in a real survival situation, your main objective besides actually staying alive and getting rescued would have to be first of all water and then second food. Before we get into the supplies, this video is sponsored by Amino Apps. As you guys know, I am very transparent with you and if I actually decide to work with a company, that is because I do like the product. So let me take you guys into better lighting right now. All right, so here we go. The app is right here, Amino with the A. When you first open this guy up you can see that there's all these different types of aminos you can see there's the sports and everything like that and come down here you can see i joined the fishing amino and that is what we're going to be showing you guys today so fishing amino is definitely the ultimate social community for fishermen to connect and interact it's cool because it's pretty much a combination of facebook reddit and buzzfeed as you can see right when i open it up people's pictures start popping up like this kid just uploaded a picture of his new personal best bass you can see i already like that as we scroll down here you can see all the people who liked it and you can also scroll down more and see everybody who put some comments on it this is a pretty cool app to show off your catches interact with other fishermen it's just overall it's a really cool app this right here is probably my favorite post that i've seen today on this app up here in the blue you can see there's a feature section there's the latest feed there's public chat rooms where you can go in and talk with people about fishing stuff there's a quiz section there's a poll section so i would highly recommend you guys go download this app definitely add me at first date fishing it's completely free come and check out my post the link will be right in the description and we are back here in the forest so i'm going to go ahead and take a look at the supplies that i have right now and with those limited supplies and the natural supplies around this forest here i'm going to try my best to try to catch some fish out of this creek and that will honestly make sure that i have some food to eat in order to survive while I'm waiting to get rescued or find civilization myself. So let me just create the setting for you guys. So growing up, I've always loved watching those survival shows, whether it's Bear Grylls or that hippie guy that never wears shoes anywhere. I seriously used to be like addicted to these shows. So today I figured that I'm gonna come out here, try to get my Bear Grylls on and see how I would do in a survival situation. Now let's get into the supplies that we have and let's figure out a plan here. Let's take a look at the supplies we have here. I feel like this stuff can realistically be in somebody's possession when they get lost in the woods in a survival situation. I mean, for the most part. Okay, so first of all, we have our knife. I feel like in a survival situation, the knife is very, very important to have. I feel like this is definitely something that a lot of people carry with them and that is a good thing that will definitely help if you ever get in a situation like this and as I said before this is our only tool. We have no rod, reel, lines, lures, hooks, anything like that. This is all we have. Next up we have a packet of crackers. Just one packet of crackers. This is definitely not enough food to actually last us and survive out here. So maybe this will come in handy but that just shows how much we have to find some fish because we do not want to starve out here. Next up we have some headphones as well as a phone that has no battery. Maybe we can use this, maybe not. We have our keys here with a little lanyard. We have a water bottle that is almost full and last but not least, we have this little ziplock here with some papers in it. Up. We have some paper to start some fire if we need to. And I think this paper clip up here is going to be huge for us. We also have this very handy Ziploc bag. This could definitely be used for storage. The possibilities are endless. So that is all the limited supplies we have here to help us survive. Let me know in the comments what you guys would first do with all this stuff. So here's all of our supplies. Now how are we going to use that supplies to catch some fish? Well, right now I actually have something in mind. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work or not. First order of business out here, I think I'm going to try to find a stick that is going to be my rod. I'm going to try to make some kind of old school rod set up here. We're definitely surrounded with a lot of down sticks. I just need to find find the right one. By the way, guys, I have no clue if any of this is going to work or not. It's just a lot of fun to actually be out here and to try this whole survival situation stuff. I mean, I was never a Boy Scout or anything, but I think I have some kind of knowledge of survival. I mean, I probably don't, but I like to think that I do. All right. What about this guy right here? This is an okay stick. Uh... Oh, well, that's not going to work. I need something that's going to be a little bit sturdier than that. I'm looking for length, flexibility, and uh, a bit of sturdiness to it. It won't just snap if I actually hook on something. What about this guy down here? This is a very long stick right here. I mean, honestly, this could work. Let me just see if it passes all of our tests here. All right, well, it definitely passes the length test. Now, let's try sturdiness. I mean, I'm probably not going to try to hook up with huge fish. Oh, all right. That's actually good. I mean, we lost a little bit of length here, but that's still good. I mean, this is probably about a six foot long stick now. Guys, I think we might have just found the base for our rod. I mean, it's not the nicest looking stick, but first objective is complete. We have found a solid stick. We can now add this to our inventory. Now I know in survival shows, I've seen them use vines as kind of like a rope. And I'm just walking around here seeing if I can find anything that's kind of like a vine. This might actually work. Let me see how flexible this thing can be. Just kind of a uh, snaps when you bend it a little bit. So that is definitely not going to work for our little fishing pole. We need something that's actually going to act as a fishing line. All right, well, I've done some searching all up and down this forest right here. Could not find anything that could be fishing line material. Now, I could go down to this creek and try to find some fishing line that was left over from other fishermen. But I feel like if this was an actual survival scenario, there would not be fishing line just on the ground. And that's kind of cheating. So I'm actually going to go back to my supplies and see if I have anything that maybe I could substitute as fishing line. What the heck? What in the heck happened to this guy right here? That is definitely interesting. All right, here we go. Back to our supplies. Do we have anything that could be used as a fishing line here? Let's see. Not the crackers, not this, not the water bottle. We have these two things. I mean, maybe one of these things could uh, actually 
work as a fishing line. Let's see what we can do here, I guess. So it looks like when they're fully extended, these Apple earphones are probably about three feet, maybe two and a half feet. So that is not bad, but I don't think that's gonna be exactly the ideal length. So I'm thinking maybe if we kind of attach these two together. All right, guys, well, I think I might have figured something out here. So at the end of the stick, there's actually this little groove here. Do one knot here, another knot up here. That, that works pretty decent right there. One more knot below, one more knot above. That is actually pretty solid. That is pretty cool. Maybe I can add this to the end of it. I mean, this clip is pretty solid. I mean, that looks like it would work pretty good. But here you guys go. That is our lanyard coming down to our little clip. I do not think that we're gonna catch a fish that's gonna be able to pull that out. So guys, to be honest, this is actually looking like might work so now we have the rod we have the line now at the very end of this line we're going to need to find something to be a hook this might be the most challenging part yet all right so on the internet i've seen people make fishing hooks out of wood now i have absolutely zero experience in doing anything like this so first i'm going to oh all right i think if i'm going to find a stronger branch i'm going to have to come to one of these trees that are still alive um let me just take this here i could work with this i messed that one up again too dang it where's the perfect stick I'm gonna try to make this sharper. This is actually getting pretty sharp over here. All right, well, as you guys can see right there, this is actually looking pretty sharp right now. All right, so there we go. That is our makeshift little hook right there. I'm not sure if this is gonna work at all. And then I just kind of had a little knot onto the end of this stick. Now, if this doesn't work, I feel like I could probably use the paper clip as some sort of hook, but I feel that right now this would be a little bit cooler. Like, if I catch a fish on this, dude, I'm gonna freak out. So now we have our setup ready to go, but we have absolutely no bait. So that is the next mission. When it comes to bait, I'm thinking that worms are gonna be our best option. As we all know, worms tend to live in warm, moister areas. So I'm just gonna come around here maybe flip some of these rocks over oh my god i've never seen that many freaking ants in my life what in the that is a lot of ants all right here's another rock oh flip that oh yeah that is exactly what i'm talking about come here come here come here, come here. that is exactly what we're after right there that is so awesome the second rock that we freaking flipped over and i'm just gonna use this little ziploc to actually store our baits. This is like, that is a good looking worm right there. I'll put him in the bag. So that is one bait right there. Let's go see if we can get anything else. As you guys can see, there's a bunch of fallen sticks and timber over here. This definitely looks like a good area to find some insects, maybe some worms under these logs. So all I'm gonna do is walk around here, maybe, oh, that's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Oh, move that out of the way. Well, I see this little guy in here, but I do not think that he's gonna help us at all. Oh my God, he is freaking feisty. That is not exactly what we're looking for here. That is too small. How about this guy over here? I'm seeing a lot of smaller bugs. Oh, actually, there we go. That is another good size worm. This guy is really not too lively, but it should work pretty well as bait. Here we go. What is over here? Oh, yep, there we go. Get, oh, oh no. See, the thing is when you're pulling night crawlers up like this, you have to be so gentle because they can just snap themselves off. All right, so we have a few worms here. I'm so excited to see if this can actually catch anything. The part I'm the most skeptical about is the hook. Let's head down to the water. All right, so here we are over at the creek. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more quiet because we're probably gonna need all the help we can get. So I'm just gonna rip off a little piece like this. I'm gonna thread it onto our hook like this. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, let's see if this thing's actually gonna work. There we go. Well, first problem is that this might not be long enough. Whew, all right, so all I'm gonna do is just kind of toss this guy in like that. There's some, definitely some fish here. All I'm really doing is scaring him away. All right, well guys, I tried with the wooden hook thing. I, I don't know, maybe the presentation just scares some of the fish away. So I'm gonna transition over. I'm gonna take this little wooden piece off and I'm gonna try to use this uh, paper clip as a hook. All right, so first what I'm gonna do with this thing is bend it and bend this out. This is gonna be our little hook pointer here. Bend this out like that. There we go. It's starting to look like a hook right there, right? So with this, I'm just gonna bend it back and forth until this actually gets weak and then I'm just gonna break this off. All right, so there we go. That is what is left right there. I did actually start to sharpen our hook point right here. So I'm just gonna do this for a while until it actually gets pretty sharp. All right, there we go. And I'm actually gonna cut this little end off with my knife because that is just gonna get in the way. That is what is left. This definitely looks a lot better than our first hook. I have a way better feeling about this. Yeah, that hook is sharp too. That right there has got to get a fish's attention. Very gently. So we get any bites. See, the one problem is that the string is not actually long enough because I cannot get it out to where I'd like it to be. All right, I think that I'm getting too close and I'm actually spooking these fish. All right, guys, well, you know those vines I was talking about earlier? I think that I might have just found some up here in this tree. All right, I'm pulling them out of the tree 
right now. There we go. I don't know if this is gonna help us at all because the main problem we are running into is that we're spooking the fish. We're getting way too close to them, so we need some more length. Actually, maybe this side is more stable. Let me try this. Oh yeah, that's not bad. All right, well, here we go. This might actually add some extra length to our pole here. Now I just gotta figure out how to attach it. All right, well, now we are definitely starting to look a little crazy. Here is our six foot stick attached to a lanyard, attached to a vine that is attached to some Apple microphones that has a hook that has a paper clip on it that has a worm. Oh Lord. I'm really hoping that this extra casting distance is gonna be beneficial to us. I just hope that I tied this good enough to where it's actually not just gonna fall apart here. All right, well that did not work. I'm not sure the exact best way to cast this. I mean, I feel like we could definitely get a fish with this. I just need to put it in the right spot. See, we get more length with the vine, but it's a lot harder to cast. Oh, there we go. There we go. That was a better cast right there. All right, come on. Something to eat this, man. I'm trying to survive out here. Come on, they're looking right at it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's getting bit. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, dude, it's freaking hooked out there. There is a fish hooked. I am literally chasing. I uh, Hold on, guys. Take everything out of my pockets. Either way, I still got to get this bait back. Oh, yo. It's literally still. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This got snagged on a freaking log. Oh, my God. Are you freaking kidding me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That literally just happened. All right, so let me tell you guys exactly what just happened there. I threw the worm in. There was a couple fish looking at it. Once the bait started to get nipped, I set the hook like I was freaking bass fishing. The headphones went flying off. I guess the fish actually took the bait into a snag because the headphones were literally snagged on a rock or a branch or something there. But let me just show you guys what we got here. There we go. A nice bluegill. I mean, this is still food. If we were in a survival situation right now, we'd be a little bit wet. I mean, my clothing and my shoes are all wet, so that's not a good thing. But if we a fire i could pull up some water to drink i could dry my clothes off and i could eat this guy up man that is crazy that we caught him on that and thank god this guy actually got snagged up with the headphones if he didn't get snagged i would have lost my hook the headphones i don't even know what i would have done honestly this little guy is probably traumatized i'm not actually going to eat you don't worry buddy if i was in a survival situation you would probably be dinner oh there he goes that is literally so sick All right, well, so far we've actually managed to catch some fish. And I think we'd be all right on food if we could keep catching some of those fish. But then I came over here in between all these rocks, there's a small stream. There are so many minnows down here. And it got me thinking how I could possibly trap them. Now, I do have this plastic bag here. I want to see if there's a spot where I could possibly trap them with rocks. That might sound a little crazy, but that's actually a thing. If I can herd some minnows into this little deep pool right here and block it off from both exits, I'll be able to have some minnows to harvest. So carefully without spooking these minnows, I'm gonna take some of these rocks here. So what I'm gonna do is gently stack some rocks right around here so the fish cannot escape. All right, we're good. So right there, looks like we have a little barricade. Now on this other side right here, all oh, these minnows are starting to freak out. All right, I gotta hurry up. On this other side, I need to put a big rock to barricade them off. All right, so now I have rocks here, rocks over there. Now I have some minnows trapped. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this bag up, try to go like this and scoop the minnows in. Again, no clue if this is actually gonna work or not. Anything in there? Oh, yeah. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. All right, let me pour some of this water out. Right there, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There is a minnow swimming around in there. Let's go back, try to get some more. I'm going to release this guy. I'm going to put this bag right back down here. Get the air bubbles out. And I'll show you guys exactly what I just did. I opened it up. Maybe something will be in there. Not this time. But you guys get the point of this, right? As long as you have minnows like this, I mean, you could even eat these if you were really in a survival situation. But also, if you're trying to catch bigger fish, this is just like the ultimate bait right here really quick i'm going to show you guys one more tactic you could use here to catch minnows with the supplies we have for this all you're going to need is that ziploc bag a rock like this and we're going to use some of our crackers once this bag gets full of water i'm going to put the rock in it so it actually falls down to the bottom make sure there's a good opening there and then i'm just going to open up these crackers crush them up in my hand like this we're going to throw them in the bag like that all right well i mean there we go all you really have to do is wait all right i'm actually running a little bit low on time but you guys get the gist of it right i mean it's kind of like the minnow traps i made in my minnow trapping videos but now it's just with a ziploc and then if i really did want to keep the minnows to either eat them or to use them as bait or whatever i could have kept them in this here plastic water bottle this would have worked perfectly i guess that just about does it here for the forest i have to get home and start editing this video but yeah if you guys do like these types of videos i had a lot of fun making this this might be the most fun i've ever had making a video be sure to smash that thumbs up button let me know if you'd like to see something like this again all right, I am back home now. I'm finishing the edit. I just want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate all the support. Let's keep this rolling. Again, if you did like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.